What is going on guys? My name is Halvey and today I am bringing you a commentary gameplay on the new map containment with brand new assault rifle, the, uh, the Maverick. Now this is a pretty sweet looking gun I must say. And the maps, uh, from what I've been looking at, Austin's got it right away, and so he's been sending me some really cool footage and stuff like that. Um, and, and from what the looks of it are, it looks freaking sweet. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of info on uh, some stuff some that me and Austin have talked about as far as the, um, the, the workability and functionality of the guns as well as the maps themselves. And um, on top of that, give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what I'm doing this week and leaving for in a couple hours. So... We'll get right into it. Firstly, if you can't tell, the iron sights are just freaking awesome. I love it. I don't think there's really any need to slap on a red dot sight because it's really, uh, the iron sights are very open and they don't block the screen, which that's, at least for me personally, the way I play, that's got to be the biggest issue that I have with using iron sights on guns is, is a lot of times they'll, they'll really be big and chunky and they'll block up a lot of the screen. Um, and that, that kind of makes me sad So because it, I can't see people. Um, and so with this, though, it's really finite little reticle, uh, but it's easy to tell, so I, I like it a lot. Um, you won't need to be using red dots, in my opinion. The kick is pretty much, uh, you can't really tell. If you're able to run um, a grip with a silencer um, or something like that in that, in that realm, because uh, being able to substitute the red dot sight with something else, um, what I like to do is typically if I have that ability I'll put on a grip and then a silencer uh, because I love to be able to kill people without them knowing that I'm killing them it just makes me happy so with that said the the, the kick on this gun is actually almost not even there um, and as you can hopefully see by this gameplay you just really can't tell there's not very much t very much kick um, and that's pretty awesome the gun seems to do a fair amount of damage close range uh, to medium range but also obviously with most guns you know the, the longer you go the less it's going to do but it does uh, quite a bit of damage what it seems to actually remind me of um, oddly enough is it is it reminds me a lot of the AN94 um, and I'm not sure exactly the statistics I don't look into the specifics on everything but that's what it that's what it really looks a lot to me and, and feels like um, but overall, uh, from the little bit that's been able to be played, it seems, between me and Austin, it seems like the gun's actually pretty good uh, and fun to use. I think it is interesting as well that the AR, the Maverick, uh, the, the DLC was designed to be, as most of you probably know, the Maverick is both an assault rifle and a sniper rifle, but the sniper rifle is, is, in, is a completely separate gun. They're both Mavericks, but there is one that's an assault rifle and one that is a sniper rifle. Uh, two completely different guns in respect to the actual game, um, but I don't know. It's kind of a cool concept, I guess. I wish they would have been able to have like an attachment, maybe for the gun, where you can attach a barrel for the sniper rifle or anything like that. But uh, I'll have another gameplay coming up soon with the sniper uh, Maverick, and uh, you'll be able to look into that as well. Um, the maps, though, the map, uh, at least with this one here, containment, I, I, I really like it. I think it's really cool. I feel like Infinity Ward for the first time, probably ever, actually listened to uh, its its fan base and, and people who play their games um, and noted that people really cannot stand how big the maps are. And while this map is actually still pretty big, it has, if, as you'll notice here, you know, it, it, there's not very many long, long range engagements here. Um, like, that's uh, that, the, the distance between between the gunner here and then and the enemy is is pretty much the longest that you'll that you'll have uh, too often in this in this map um, and that's really neat to me because I'm a lot more of a run and gunner I like to play tactically but tactically in this terms of right when you get in front of my face I shoot you tacticals you know that kind of instantaneous thinking um, it's just instant gratification that's where it's at so um, yeah, anyways, this, the map looks great, the, uh, the gun is pretty fun and awesome, and uh, I never really got into actually why I'm leaving, but uh, I'm going on a business trip today actually, I'm going to New York and Boston, I'm going to be selling some publications, I will probably keep you posted with other commentaries about that in the near future. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the gameplay, the new awesome maps, and the new awesome gun. So if you liked, then do so. Leave a like, comment, follow me on Twitter. As always, stay beautiful, guys, and have a fantastic day. We'll see you later.